Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. A conducting square coil is placed in a region where there is a uniform magnetic field. The magnetic field is directed into the page. There is a clockwise current in the coil. What is a correct force that acts on a side of the coil? Okay, fine, no problem. So all of the options A, B, C, D, they are showing the direction of the force on that wire. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Yeah, so A, B, C, D are the forces that are acting on the wire and the current is moving in the clockwise direction like this. So we want to find the direction of the force. So as I have already told you that I am using right hand palm rule type two for this. Try to understand right hand palm rule is, is you know, like it's quite common and people understand what right hand palm rule is. Majority of like teachers would be aware of what, what this is. But uh, I always prefer using this instead of using the Fleming's right hand rule and the Fleming's left hand rule. I do not use those rules. I use right hand palm rule. And for this, finding the force on a positive charge, finding the force on an electron, finding the force on a current carrying conductor, I use right hand palm rule type two. So I just call it type two. So I have given the complete description of type one, type two and all that in a video which is already present there. And I think it, you can find that video in uh, the playlist 5.4 and you have to search for it. I will see it and I will <clears throat> mention the link also. But uh, you have to see that to properly understand what is a type one and what is type two. So here I am going to apply the type two rule. I'm going to use the right hand palm rule. So I keep it like this and my fingers will be pointing towards the magnetic field. So magnetic field is into the page. So my fingers are now pointing into the page and my thumb will be pointing towards the current in the wire. So if I'm talking about uh, the C part of the of the loop, let us say, so the current is downwards and the magnetic field is inwards. So where is my palm? My palm is pointing towards right hand side. It means that C will be experiencing a force in the right hand side. So C direction is definitely wrong. Similarly, we are going to apply this rule for all of this. I'm going to write it here. Fingers will be pointing towards the magnetic field. Thumb will be pointing towards the current and palm will be giving you the force which is on the current carrying wire and you must also be knowing about the magnitude for this it is bil bill yeah bil is the magnitude of the force but we need not to find that anyways just given for uh, keep, keep that thing in your mind now let us go for a b and c and d all of that let us go for d now so the magnetic field is into the page and the current is going towards the left hand side. Definitely the palm is pointing downwards and the D direction is showing downwards. It means that yes, this is the force there. So no doubt about that. D option is definitely correct. Definitely then it means that A and B are going to be wrong. So my dear students, this is how we do this question. Okay, so this is how we do it. And the answer for this question is D. My dear students, I have started uploading the paper two questions also. So you can join the YouTube channel to access those paper two questions. Description is given in the description box. All the best.